good morning you guys welcome back to a new vlog i'm on my way to starbucks right now i need to get a coffee and then i have a very productive day planned so you probably can already tell by the title of this video but i am going to be organizing my closet today and it is something that i've been putting off for a while now i never show my closet on camera because it looks so bad in there there's clothes on the floor i feel like it is just like not a good use of the space and i have like shoes everywhere that i actually just like need to go through and decide like clothes and shoes what i want to keep and what i want to get rid of but for the most part like i really just need to organize the closet and if this is your first video on my channel then hello i go by baby hey but my actual name is Haley. anyways i live in an apartment and i have lived in my apartment for two years now and it's a really cute apartment like i love it but the one thing i don't like about it is that there aren't like built-in shelves in the closet so i have this like one organizer thing that i got from ikea and it has like bins in it that i put like socks and underwear and swimsuits and stuff in and then everything else is pretty much hung up i do have like a little dresser in my bedroom and honestly i wish that i would have gotten a six drawer dresser i just have a three drawer one and that was definitely a mistake when getting my like bedroom set because I really do need more space. So eventually I'm gonna get a new bedroom set and get like new nightstands and a new dresser whatever that's like besides the point but so I need to organize my closet today and I am gonna go to the container store after I go to Starbucks and just get some stuff just because like I said I like don't have any built-in shelves and I might need to get some more drawers like plastic ones that I can just put in the closet and then I really really want to get some shoe containers like I need to reorganize the shoes because that's just like what is taking up so much space on the floor and I have organized my closet before like I filmed it but I didn't buy shoe containers and that was a long time ago and I want to like actually get rid of more clothes and stuff so I'm gonna go there today and that's the one thing that I am like really looking forward to in the future is getting a house because I just feel like it would be so nice to have like built-in shelves in my closet and just like have more space and just to be able to like design it myself that is honestly like one of my like biggest goals and dreams in life is to get a house and I'm not saying it has to be this like massive house but but I just want something that is my space and that I can design it. So whether it's a house that I start from scratch and I have like builders come and build it, like that would be so amazing. Or if I like get a house that I can remodel, I just like want a place that I can make my own and not in terms of like just furniture, but like actually picking out tile and hardware and flooring and stuff like that like I think that will be so fun and I'm just like not at that place in my life yet but I am just like so excited for the day when I do get there and I'm able to do that so I yeah I don't know I've just been like thinking about that because there's so many things I wish I could change like just about my apartment but I'm like learning about it more the line at the Starbucks today is insanely long I don't know why there's so many cars, but usually when I come here, there's like no one. So I'm like, I don't know if I should wait in the line or if I should go inside. Okay. The container store is like kind of far away from here. So I need to check on my maps what the distance is, but I know it's like a little far. 25 minutes so a good drive ahead of us and i can listen to some music i also forgot to show you guys my outfit today which i will when i get out of the car but i have on this like blue set it's this like over shirt and then matching shorts and it is so cute i got it from white fox last summer actually 
and I've worn the shirt before but then I totally forgot I had the shorts and I was like looking in my closet which this is exactly what I was talking about where I don't even know like where my clothes are or what I have and I found the shorts like crumpled up somewhere and I was like perfect I can wear these <laughs> so I decided to put this on today even though it's like hot out I can wear a long sleeve right now because Vegas has been having like gloomier a little bit colder weather like in my opinion so yeah I don't even have like a shirt on under this so I can't take it off if I want to I have like a skims bralette on and I love these bralettes they're really comfortable and they don't like show when you're wearing like other clothes which I really like drop front shoe box cases of six are 20% off right now and I would definitely get the small ones because my feet are a five and a half but they're on sale for $43.99 a case so I'm gonna get a couple they look like it's this one and they're so nice so they have like obviously that size and they get bigger but they're just like really good quality and I've wanted these for a long time. I just got home. I went to Whole Foods on the way because it was like kind of in the same parking lot and I bought stuff to make a snack tray so I'll show you all of that. And then at the container store, I got this which is the over the door rack and on the picture of it, it shows a purse hanging so I could try hanging my purses but I do want to put some of my baseball caps on here and see if that works. I don't have a lot that I like so I think that this would be good for that but I just am gonna have to try it and see and then what I mostly went for is these shoe containers they are the drop front shoe boxes I got the small size and I got four boxes of them so I get 24 shoe containers I don't know how many I'm gonna need because I need to like go through my shoes and then see what fits so I'm just gonna start with this for now but their sale is all week so if I need to get more then I can just go back today or tomorrow and buy some more but I got the clear ones they're the translucent boxes and they do have them in black gray I think there's also colors like blue and red but I just like the aesthetic of these ones the best so I'm gonna start with these and see how they are but I need to get like the groceries out so I'll show you all of that I want to make a charcuterie board just something that I can leave out and snack on throughout the day because I have a feeling the organizing is gonna take me a while so I got some green grapes I really wanted the cotton candy ones but they didn't have those so I just got this bag of like the bigger organic green seedless grapes and then I also got a honey crisp apple and a cucumber and then this pack of meats this is the all-natural dried Italian Italian style meats and it looked so good and then I also got this salami and this fig spread which if you've never tried this you need to buy it my mom buys it and I've had it like a bunch of times at her house but I haven't ever gotten it for myself so I wanted to get it but it is like so good it's an apricot fig spread but I just love it and then I also got some crackers the Mary's gone crackers these are the super seed ones and then some rice thins I like both of these for like this style of like snack and then I also got this Miyoko's mozzarella cheese which usually I put this on pizza but it is still good with crackers I do have some nuts in the cabinet that I can put with this so I just need to like wash everything and cut it and put like a little board together
my charcuterie board looks so good. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Not that I had to make it aesthetic, but like obviously I had to make it aesthetic. <laughs> I just wanted to practice because I haven't really made these that many times. And I think the key is just like filling up the space that you're using. So if you're going to do this for an event or something or you're like having people over, I would just like use all the space on the board. I got this one from Crate and Barrel. And then also just like nicely place everything. That's just kind of like what I did. And then I just like randomly put it all out. But if you guys have tips or something, like if you're a pro at this, you can obviously tell me because I just like randomly put this together. I put some pistachios, cranberries, and pecans. But I'm going to snack on this a little bit. I really want some of the fig spread. I should get a little like knife. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I decided I'm actually going to show you my closet first. And before I do, I just want to say that it might not be that bad to some people, but to me, it's like awful and I just need to do something about it. So here we go. This stuff right here is like dirty, I think. Some of it I just like take off even though it's not dirty and I throw it down and I need to stop doing that. And then this right here, I do not know what's happening. Like this is like some new clothes, some stuff that I need to put away, like pajamas. It's just a disaster. And then this drawer thing right here, this is like where I have like bralettes and then swimsuits are down in that one, which like I can't even really get to it. And then I have like my dresses and rompers and stuff right here, but I don't like the fact that these drawer organizers are under it because then the dresses can't like hang all the way down. This stuff, I don't know what's happening here. I have like all of my clothes hung up, which you could say that it looks decent because it's color coded, but I don't like the fact that I have every single style of top just color coded because then I'm like, where's a crop top? Where's a t-shirt? Where's a sweater? Like I want it to be sorted out by type of item. And then I have like some skirts right here. Some I don't even wear blazers and over shirts up here, but like still don't like the organization of this. And then not to mention like all of the shoes, this is the worst part. And then I have more shoes like up and around in the closet, which I just like want the shoes off. I just got everything out of the closet. I made a gigantic mess. I put all of the hanging stuff on my bed and the floor in here. And then you guys, the living room area is so bad in here. All this random stuff. I have all my pants over there. I have dresses and skirts and then I have a ton of shoes. I have like shorts and stuff, tops, pajamas, then another random pile that I think some of this is dirty. So yeah, this is just like overwhelming, but I do have to show you the closet because I think that this is gonna help me so much it is completely empty in here and i just feel like now i can actually redesign it and like put things in different spots before it kind of made me feel like i should keep it and just like kind of reorganize but now i can actually start over so i would definitely recommend this if you're cleaning out your closet like i know that this is going to be so good for me but now I can open up the shoe containers and put those in here. I emptied out these drawers. I kept everything else in those ones, but I'm going to move these over. I think everything that I have in these, I actually want to put in my dresser and then the stuff in my dresser, put in some of the cubes and just like swap it all out. So I'm going to just like completely change everything, but I can vacuum in here too since it's empty. So I'm going to do that and then open up the shoe containers
I am shocked at how well these fit in here, you guys. I had no idea the dimensions of this space and 24 containers it fits so perfectly like I wouldn't have been able to even put any more because of the rods right here like I could have put a couple but I wouldn't be able to do a full row so I don't think I'm gonna buy any more but I love the look of this I know they're a little bit on the expensive side but I think they're totally worth it and I hated the fact that I had shoes on this rack like above my clothes just because of germs and dirt and once I started thinking about that I was like okay yeah I am not about it so I like having the containers and if you can get them on sale like that's even better but I'm gonna put all my shoes in here or like as many pairs as fits and then just start organizing I don't know where everything is gonna go it's gonna be a lot of trial and error so I bought these plastic dividers on Amazon I showed them in my last video that I was organizing but they're nice because they're adjustable so you can fit them to your drawer but this will be like helpful because then I can do socks and underwear and then just basically have six drawers but not actually I just have like dividers so that's a little bit helpful or like kind of a hack if you want to make like more space in your drawers. <laughs> been a while since I last vlogged. I went with Caitlin this morning to her doctor's appointment. She invited me to go with her and check on the baby. So we listened to his heartbeat and it was just a really cool experience to be able to go and see that. I was so happy that she asked me to come. She said that Brian's been going with her every week and she was like, I can give him a break one week if you want to come. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go with you. So we just did that. And then we went to Toe Society after because it was like right next to her doctor's office and they had opened up a new location in Henderson which we hadn't been to yet so it was fun to just like go check out and it looked really pretty inside obviously I showed you yeah we just had like some girl time chatted it up and then I got back home and I've been organizing like crazy so I finally finished my closet you guys and I am like so proud of myself it looks so good and I just like feel relieved with the fact that it's done and just like how good it turned out and how much clothes I'm like getting rid of and yeah so I'm gonna show you everything that I have done and I've really been looking forward to this <laughs> so I hope you guys like it I'm gonna give you in detail like pretty much everything that I did and where I put everything just in case like you want to organize your space maybe this will be able to help you so we're gonna go through it all Starting in here, I did socks and I did black socks, which I don't really wear that much. My taller white socks and then shorter socks and like no-show socks. And this one, I did like underwear, bras, and bralettes. And then this last one, I did pajamas. I still have quite a few in the wash right now, so I'm working on some laundry and I'll fill that drawer up. Okay, the moment of truth. This looks so amazing, you guys. I am so happy with how this turned out. It's just so clean and the shoes are definitely my favorite part. These are totally worth the money. It just saves so much space. But so I did all of my sneakers, comfier shoes like my Burks and slides and then all my heels over here. And then I put my shorter boots up top. And then I have my taller boots up here. I need to get something to like put on top of the rack, but I wipe the bottoms of them. And then I also want to get some little inserts to put in the shoes so they can stand up taller. These are the pants. I did my trousers, leather pants, comfier pants and sweats all in this. And then I did my jeans and cargo pants folded up top. And then over here, I did all of my sweatshirts, sweaters, overshirts, and blazers. I have some other like jackets in the closet in the living room. So I just did all of these up here. And then 
I did my like bigger graphic tees. These are my like basic cropped tees. And then I have my cropped tanks and just other shirts that I wear here. Body suits, long sleeves. And then I filled up these bins down here. This one has shirts that I can't really hang that well like tube tops, scarf tops, halter tops, anything like that. And then this one is workout clothes. I have Gymshark, White Fox, Stronger, Set Active, any of those brands in that. And then this one I just did Lululemon because I wear these the most. And then this last bin has like biker shorts and sweat shorts in it. And then over here I have two other bins. I put one of them into the other closet because I don't need it in here. But I did my swimsuits. And then this one I did my like shorts and the um, skirts that I have all in that and then obviously this is all of my dresses and rompers anything that is longer jumpsuits and then this over here I really love I took all the black bins out and just left it empty so I could use it as a stand for all of my purses and I think it looks really good to just like have all of my bags in there I did a couple of hats and then I just put my duffel bag up on display right there. So that is the entire closet and I think it looks so good. I love how clean it is and just the fact that there is like no shoes up on the top. And then I still need to hang this up. It's the over the door rack. So we'll do this right now and then put my baseball caps on it. Hopefully this works good i didn't need it but i just think it'd be nice to have my hats hanging up because i have like a bin of accessories but it's a lot of stuff that i don't really wear so i'd rather just have these more accessible i don't know if there's like direction Oh, there's like only one little screw, maybe two. Okay, got both screws in. This one isn't very tight. pretty good I feel like that'll just be a lot easier I have one more hat I think that I need to get and put up there but that looks so good in here I am so happy I'll show you now what I have to do because I have so many bags of clothes that I have to either sell or get rid of and yeah, I'll just bring you into the living room because it's crazy in here. This is all of the stuff that I bagged up that I need to either list on Poshmark or just donate it. Here is all of the boxes that I need to break down and bring to the trash. And then I do have another hamper of clothes that I need to wash this duvet cover that I want to wash, and then my towels. And then I have something in the wash that I need to put into the dryer. So I have a lot of laundry left to do and just like some other things, but I have gotten so much accomplished already and I feel so good with the fact that I actually am donating and selling and getting rid of clothes. Like I don't know why, but I have like attachment issues to my clothes. And every time I'm like not good about actually picking things to donate or sell or whatever but this time around I was asking myself like would I miss this if I never saw it again or would someone else be able to enjoy it more than me and that made it a lot easier for me by just like asking myself those questions so 
I just oh, I feel so good but I need to go through all the stuff and figure out like what I'm donating what I'm selling and just make sure I know what I'm doing with that and then I need to do the boxes right now so that's what I'm gonna work on but this is like the best thing ever to me like I feel so just uh can't even tell you guys it just feels so good It is 547 right now and I got the laundry that I needed to do done. I put more clothes away, I vacuumed the floors, I wiped the counters, got the boxes to the trash outside. What else did I do? I put the bags of clothes into the other room and now that room is a mess. <laughs> I'm not gonna show it to you because it's so bad and I need to deal with it But I'm just like not gonna do that today because I'm like done, you know I've been organizing cleaning all day that I just don't want to do that anymore. I want to chill I want to lay on the couch and do nothing and Watch Love Island even though the season is not that good. I feel like I made a commitment to myself to watch all of it Because I've watched like every single other US season which i know so many of you tell me to watch the uk season and like i will but i don't have time to watch everything and since the us one is like you know been my thing i need to watch it so i'm gonna watch that tonight and just sit here i don't think there's gonna be anything else happening that will be like interesting so this vlog is like kind of coming to an end but i hope you guys liked it hope you got some motivation inspiration to clean and yeah i love you all so much if you're not subscribed you obviously know to subscribe and follow me on instagram and tiktok those are both baby hey and yeah i will see you guys in the next vlog bye